Hi there, my name is Clayton Brosart. I'm the Loveland District Wildlife Manager for Colorado Parks and Wildlife. My district spans from the south edge of Fort Collins, south to Berthoud, and from I-25 west to about Drake. Uh, for big game access in my district, I really only have two public access points. That's County Road 44H, which is the northern boundary for Unit 20, the southern boundary for Unit 19, and Forest Road 153. Uh, Colorado Parks and Wildlife leases access for Forest Road 153 from Masonville during the big game seasons only. The gates will be open the day prior to the season starting and will close the day after the season ends. Um, for elk and deer archery, both of those points are good places to start. Uh, Crystal Mountain Subdivision hosts some, some larger bulls. Uh, it's very terrain um, specific, so prepare for some hiking. Uh, later in the year, I do get a majority of the elk moving down from the Estes Park, Rocky Mountain National Park area that'll come down towards the Loveland area. So the fourth seasons and later tend to hold a little bit more elk moving down through those public grounds. Um, the majority of my district is private land only, and if you can get access, it's an excellent place to harvest an elk. Um, one cautionary note I would say is the there is no public access on County Road 18E past Pinewood Reservoir. Uh, so for deer in this area, the majority of my tags open during the second rifle season. Uh, that is also the same day as all the PLO buck tags. Again, the majority of my, my deer are harvested on private land only. Uh, so if you can get access, you stand a very good chance of harvesting a very nice buck in this area. Um, I would recommend testing for chronic wasting disease if you harvest a mature buck in this area.